Oh, that is very, 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 very cute. Um... Oh, look at her go. <laughs> it is so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so cute. I wonder where the carrot was. What? You're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. That looks good, right? Yeah. There's something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. <laughs> we searched the whole school, save for that place, but we never found the, the carrot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that means the carrot was in the men's restroom! <laughs> Carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. <laughs> Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom after all. Nope. If that coward finds it, he'll take it to the teacher ballin' like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Or six feet under. Damn. Ugh, I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it's stop? The witch's house in Hy Hylion? Do you think it's High Lion or Hylion? Where all roads lead to. Your second place at the school for witches. Whatever. I don't care about any of that. She's so cute. Look at that face. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the forbidden room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. <laughs> Witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. Fine, fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. Don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is Hylian? <laughs> first thing to do is take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. I heard that Jenny's old sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived in Hylian. So she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See? Mom bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, that also did say that comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. A keyword. Lace up boots. It's a pain to wear lace up boots if you're boarding the train to Hylian. Hmm. There's a Van Gogh painting. Oh yeah, the Starry Night. Isn't it? Oh, so cute. She has so much hair. He. <laughs> Investigate. Food was really delicious though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon scented kiwi sauce. What? Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch series cards. Got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. <laughs> Don't do that again in Hylian. I'll definitely try the Nubicula cupcakes there. That's if I get to Hylian before I get bored to death. How do we... Oh, R. Oh! R3? The truth remains one. Should shoes be taken off when arriving in Hylian? Ask others. Oh, so that's our to-do list. Our task list. Okay, well, there's only this dude. The bartender. Hello, Mr. Bartender. <laughs> hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? 
Of course. Then I'll have a cup of that. The tea is alcohol though. <laughs> is that okay? But then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. <laughs> then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. Keyword conversations. You can in initiate conversations using keywords at your disposal. Okay. Want some water? Oh, training activity. Normal. Personal stories, chit chat, or shop. Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take your shoes off before you step foot into Hylian Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for Hylian. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, ye who reacheth Hylian, look first upon thy shoes. Or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil? I was right. The hat is called Virgil. The preppy boots mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right? My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. Wow. Sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You gonna keep up with that attitude of yours? <laughs> Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being boredom won't be an issue. Being bored? No, it's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring, thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening? Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly! How can you not try shaking it four times having heard that? <laughs> I like that. But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind. You've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. <laughs> I should be on my way then. All right, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not gonna ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. You can view your notes to see keywords you have. Ah, okay. Oh, related person. So we can ask three people, maybe. Are we the only ones on this train? Oh, who's this? Ordinary passenger. Hello. Oh, hi. Isn't he sophisticated? Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Hylian, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits die hard, especially when one is deep in thought. You sound like the janitor from my school. <laughs> well, I used to be a soldier. So what brings you here? Speak. Uh, lace up boots. Before that. What? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? I was gonna ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it will be hard for you when you arrive at Hylian. What? What are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Oh, you were kidding. I'm sorry. I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Jenny! Mr. Bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no. I just realized that I was deceived. Come to think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Hylian for the first time. Stop! You don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. Sorry. Are you holding back laughter? <laughs> No, I'm not. 
<laughs> He's trying, trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took them off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. There's a reason why she's your friend. No, go back to your seat and quietly wait until we've arrived. We still have to... Three more days to go. Three more days. That's as terrible as, sm as the smell of spotted shiitake mushrooms. You have to spend more three more days on this train? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at his little face and his little ears. Oh my god. Up ahead is the engine room. Oh, I guess the shoe one is closed now. Uh, so, oh yeah, and then you go, okay, so it's all D-pad. Personal stories, chit-chat, and shop. Personal stories. I am an attendant of Brightman Railroads. My job is to ensure the passengers' comfort and safety. Up ahead is the engine room. <laughs> Small talk is forbidden during operation. <laughs> Up ahead is the engine room. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute! That's my favorite one so far. I guess we should go back to our seat. All right, now have some patience and stay seated. Ugh. Hmm. I'm bored. You just sat down. <laughs> this is torture! Stare out the window if you're so bored. <laughs> yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you waken a terrible demon. Wait, hold on, Virgil. Shut up and look out the window. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> at the summit of the mountain, there's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree! Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. Ugh, I want to get out now. I hope we crash. <laughs> she keeps getting funnier. <laughs> Fat chance of that happening, so just stay bored. After all, you sign up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any crocophants nearby? Nope. Speaking of crocodiles, I had the most terrifying dream. Like, it, I haven't had a scary dream like that in a long time. I dreamt that a crocodile or alligator, whatever you want, I can tell. I can't tell the difference. I dreamt that a crocodile was attacking me, was coming in to attack me, but he didn't have like regular crocodile skin. He had human skin, so it was like a human skin stretched over a crocodile. It was very disturbing. I think I need to try and draw it. I think. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? That's one of those dreams where you wake up and it's like, what the fuck did my brain just come up with? <laughs> this isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? Hey, a boa constrictor! The correct line is, what's going on? <laughs> oh my god, this is really growing on me. It's so funny. There's no station here. Why are we stopping? I'm not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please, just say there's some massively critical issue. Please, please, please. There he is. The cutest of all. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? Train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Attention! The train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but of course I remember. The shining tree is at the peak. No, no, not that. We have to get back by tomorrow morning. Then we should get going. Ooh, exciting. Can we just leave now? 
Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I'd love it. Let's hurry. You view the memo board to view your current jobs. Okay. Yeah. It's 10 p.m. right now. Oh, wait, let me move that. Sorry, you can't go beyond here. Why did the train stop? Something in the train's path. We're working on getting rid of whatever's in the way. Something's in our way? Is it a boa constrictor? Boa constrictor? No, no. It's a strange prickly vine. Strange prickly vine? Yes, a prickly vine. It wasn't there yesterday, but it seems to have grown overnight. We can't seem to cut it down with a regular axe, but we're doing our best. We've contacted... Can you, can you imagine all this little otters, like, chopping away? <laughs> We've contacted the witches, so I'm sure they'll be here to help in no time. Can I take a look? I happen to be a witch. You're our passenger. It's our responsibility to make sure you're safe. We'll take care of it, so please be patient. Can I just take a peek? I'm sorry. Saved. Ooh, thank you. That's nice. It's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. There are vines hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. That's bad news. Cute. It's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. <laughs> She's adorable. What's this? Little honey pumpkin. What's that? Type of weed that grows in forested areas. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of the, them by hand. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can we also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. The nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine. You should be able to find it. Oh. It's just at the edge of the cam. Oh. It disappeared. Nice. Great. Time to explore. Please don't use that word. Explore. That word gives me anxiety. No, <laughs> no thanks to your mother. <laughs> He's triggered right now. Press the sprint button to move faster than normal. Ah. It's so dark though. Oh, I got an apple. A crown apple. Can you get the stick? Can you shake the tree? Oh, look at that. Okay, interesting. The shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see it. Oh, right. Um, how do I get up there? I'm just immediately like, okay, collect things. <laughs> do I have to go up? I have no idea. Do I have a, I don't have a map yet, do I? What's this though? Oh. Is this a sign? Too dark and worn for me to see anything. Let's come back when it's brighter. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. But it's still 10 p.m. So I think... Shining trees at the peak. I'm trying, okay? Oh. It must be on the left then? Right? Top left, maybe? Okay. <laughs> she runs like a little goblin. <laughs> I love it. I think it's like this direction. Green forest waterfall. Oh, I can't go. Oh, it's a key. Ooh, interesting. A mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My letter gets worn out from all the wind. Okay. I guess we should just try and go up and 
There's probably only one way in the beginning anyway. Oh, that's closed off. Oh, what's that? Oh, butterfly. Get it! Get it! I don't think I can catch it. I think I need a net or something. Oh, key. Why are there so many things blocking the path? Must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Bury a mate with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? There's a witch here? There was, or do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue, long as it's drawn well. Oh. Oh, we found it! Wow! It's this gigantic, gigantic shining tree. The same one we saw from the train. This is a bitter grape tea tree. I don't think the tree is the one that's shining. Check this out, Virgil. There are a ton of butterflies on it. You're right, the butterflies seem to be glowing. These are blue moon butterflies. The blue moon gives off a subtle moonlight. Oh, the butterflies. The light of these butterflies has the same power as, power as actual moonlight. That's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? A giant tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight. It's not just beautiful, it's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower in Lucerin or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. We did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. You don't want to check out this, like, rock thing? I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rocks should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. Yeah, I was chasing it. You might as well collect some for study purposes. Let's do it. Can I just sneak up and grab it? Do you remember what Mr. Gravier said? Death lives under the bed. No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Okay, press and hold the used quill button to draw. Once the gauge is full and the drawing is complete, the subject of the drawing will be recorded in the encyclopedia. Okay. My brain is so slow today. I need to like really take like five seconds to really like let the information sink in. It's like, okay, I got it. <laughs> so, okay, that's interesting. So if we see something, oh, and the tools are bottom left there. And then you hold, oh, so cute. select blue moon butterfly and then we get it in the book habitat and time of appearance tools used for collecting so we need a net collectible that can be acquired interesting butterfly that admits how to collect how to make collecting easier butterfly that misses soft glow from absorbing moonlight sensitive to sound but will not easily go away unless it feels especially threatened so you have to slowly walk up to it. Registered in the catalog. Let's see. Oh, <gasps> she got glasses. Do you see why you can't catch any right now? Tool. So you can collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do now then. But I want to do it right now. Getting to the witch's house in Hylian is more important. <laughs> Let's go back down now. There's got to be something else that's fun. This is very, very good so far. Definitely more to it than I thought. Is there something in here? What is that? Uh, how do I flip pages? What did I get? I drew something, right? Oh, because it's moving. Now I got it. A bush bug. 
I need a net for that too. Should just see a moving bush. Try giving it a shake. Ah. Well, it's still 10 p.m. So I don't think there's any... We don't have to be worried about missing our... Oh, I got witch flower. Hmm. We don't have to worry about missing our train. We can just explore. Oh, so pretty. A little statue here. I only wish it was a little less dark or we had like a light source or something. Oh, we can do something with the rock, too. Maybe mining? Oh, right, we're in this bit. We should just head down further. Oh, wow. Let's go back to the train. Look at that! It's a kitty cat! A shining white cat! I've never seen anything like that before. Go, go, go! Run after that! Yay! Let's go! Oh. Wait, where did he go? Oh, there, 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 there. Go, 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 go. Kitty. Oh, what's that? I think the cat dropped something and left. What is this? Looks like witch chalk. That thing you use to draw things like a pattern? It looks like a little different from the one we were using at school. Different packaging. This witch pattern seems to have been erased a bit. It won't work if it gets erased like this. You can draw the pattern again using the same color witch chalk. Since I have the one I just picked up, let's draw it again with that. Yeah, try it. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's not unlimited. You lose the chalk. Cause she was like, should I use one? Ooh. Witch's garden. Do you think this is my future house? Where did the cat go? Look, Virgil, a house. A witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at a witch's house? That's true, but... Look at the pumpkin. So cool. I will go have a look inside. Anyone there? Anyone there? Seems like nobody's here. <laughs> Could be an abandoned witch's house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. All right, let's go inside. Oh, this is cute. It really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although it's not that clean. Since the witch's house is managed on her own, it doesn't seem to be in a very good condition, considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. I would not... Can you imagine the amount of dust mite? I would die in this house. Since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. It's better than sleeping outside. Action... So oh, my stamina wasn't recharging. So it's like Stardew, yeah. You can recover stamina by eating or sleeping. This house is a bit messy. We'll just sleep for one day. Who cares? I care. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> the train! Oh god, the stress I felt from missing a, f a fictional train. Dude, hurry. All that effort not to sleep on the train, only to dream of just sleeping on the train. <laughs> you should have just slept on a train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can almost hear the sound of the train, though. Isn't that actually the sound of the train? What? Really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry. Oh my god, go. It really is the sound of the train. Oh, it's daylight, though. God, I want to explore. What's that bag up there? Ah, oh, and I'll have to wait. It's 8 a.m. Ah! Look at the bunny! Ah! Bunnies! 
Um, how do I get there quickest? Okay, down and left. Go, 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 go. The short line. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> They're a little goblin sprint. I love it. Huh? Where's the train? Oh no. The bird was imitating train sounds, but where's the train? Probably went to Hylian. Then what do we do now? Let's look around the area. I'm sure we'll find some clues. They just left without us. I've been through much worse with your mom. That sounds weird. Oh, there's a letter there on the left. What is that thing? It's called a Gaga bird. They say it's a bit insane. I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for oversleeping. Don't blame the Gaga bird. Fine, whatever. Just be quiet. A letter! How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see. God, those glasses are so cute! I think it's from the bartender on the train. I'm getting my eyes checked again uh, this week. And it's been like... It's been about five years since I had an eye test. So I was like, you know what? I should just get my eyes checked again just in case. So I might have some new frames later this week. Or I guess I wouldn't get it immediately. Probably in a couple weeks. You're probably sh shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. They said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send e Knight and Arden. My regards. Bartender. The place we saw earlier must be a village. Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? I think this is perfect for her sense of adventure. There's a village, right? I guess we can just wait there. How about cleaning the witch's house? You never know what might happen. Also, try checking if a village really exists. Okay. Try not to sound so excited. We missed the train, remember? Right. You heard me, right? Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. Okay. Back up we go. Now it's daytime. Ho 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 ho. Do you think I need to like draw an apple? No, it's just creatures. Where did we see those bunnies? There's also a well, but I can't interact with it. So it's probably for later. God, the frame rate gets a little like choppy when you walk around too quick. At least my eyes are like, can I draw you? He <laughs> he, that's so cute. A squishy chub. <laughs> that's adorable. Squishy chub fur. You can just grab them. Burrows and lives underground in groups of two to four. As curious creatures, they approach people first should come should someone come near them. Pinching and squeezing their comfy cheeks will leave tufts of soft fur in your hands. Oh, we just squeeze them? Oh, oh. thank you. <laughs> I just squished them. <laughs> How do we get to the Can I maybe remove it on this side? No. So the village is on the right there, but how do we get in there? The town light lies to the east of here. I guess people do live around here. All right, let's head east. Seems to be blocked. True, little honey pumpkin. Let's go take a look first. So what do we do? I think this is the way to the village, but the pumpkin is in the way. Let's go to the witch's house. Okay. What's this box? I'm gonna squish one. <laughs> that is so fucking cute. Let's get rid of the weed first. 
too much. It'd take forever to pull out all of this out using hands. Take a look at the bin over there. Might have a potion. What bin? Nothing here. We'll have to use another tool. There's a wonderful tool. What's that? Your hands. <laughs> huh. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll just pull them out. We can probably leave the flowers, right? I feel like the hat would get mad if I... if I pulled out the wrong plant. Now what is this bag? Nothing apparently. Do you think that's it? What is this? Oh. Do you think we need to clean up this bag? Oh, we can take a nap. I think I got rid of all of them, right? It's nice to see that it's clean. Now it's time to tidy up the house. Ah, uh, right. It's so cute. I'm already like, okay, I wanna like clean up the house, expand it, make it bigger. We might be able to customize it, change its color. Let's find something useful while cleaning. Oh, a notebook. Might be useful later. Maybe it's a place to save. I wonder where the witch is. No one, they're the one who lived here. The place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in Lucerine or two. She really messed up the house. Reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. It's a witch bookshelf. Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. <laughs> the same as a witch bookshelf. <laughs> I'm not gonna read a book though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Poisonous mushroom kills just one person. <laughs> I read enough books at school. 12 plants, fun book of plants, gardening for witches. <gasps> Do you think we can grow crops? So many books on plants. I guess we could maybe grow stuff for potions? I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. All done cleaning. Messy in front of the desk over there. Stop bossing me around. Finally managed to get out of school. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. <laughs> a witch elevator. What? What's an elevator? Do you guys see an elevator? Oh, that's an elevator. <gasps> oh, we have a lot to clean. Look at this, Virgil. Must be the dispensary. Ah, probably make potions. We should do some cleaning. Cleaning again. I like the cleaning. I don't mind it. An extractor. We used it so many times at school. It was a slightly smaller one though. It would be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. I'll need a friendly toad at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. Okay, you need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. All right, let's go to the village. Look for one. This is so smart that they like find a really dirty, dusty house so that when they uncover the dust, it's like, oh, it's this. And then we learn about it in that way. So smart. Do I need to sweep the floor? What's that? Squishy chub fur extract. Witch flower extract. Oh. Wow, this is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. 
Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you'll end up with a proper potion. <laughs> In order to craft them, you need to follow the required ingredients, fire setting, and ladle direction. Ah, oh, that's cute. So there's three elements to making a potion. I actually liked Teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, let's make the potion we need using them for now. <gasps> Can we check the book? Hmm. Let's grab a couple more things. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? Maple herb extract. We've used them in school t countless times. Are witches usually just sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. <laughs> or in a hurry. Maybe something bad happened to her. <gasps> Beats me. What's this? A root roaster? You have to put in ingredients and just wait. It's awful. You can do something else while you're waiting. It seems to be in bad condition, however. Oh yeah, no handle for winding the spring. Where would I get a roaster handle? Hmm. There should be something when you get to the village. Okay, village comes first. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. The cauldron is fine. Anything here? What's this? A spilled bottle, scribbled paper, and a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil? Looks like a recipe for potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads, a potion with the power of moon. <gasps> Virani. The ingredients of moonflower and phoenix feather. Oh. Only very expensive materials are used. Lunar's oil. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. Something underneath, too. I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these symbols? <laughs> Your score wasn't bad, either. I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look, anyway? Looks like a recipe. Seems like moon's something. I have no idea. I got a headache. <laughs> take a look if you remember later. <laughs> I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. No use for it now. Okay. <laughs> That's like me trying to do anything. I should know this? Hmm, can't read it. I have a headache now. <laughs> this box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. Ah. Make potions. Okay. So storage box, that's good. A little honey pumpkin in front of the village. The stubborn weed elimination potion should do it, right? It's a weed terminator potion. Whatever. Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. Uh, you'll probably be able to make it with the ingredients you were lucky enough to find. All right, let's do it. So open encyclopedia, weed terminator, a few details. Recipe shown on the right. Ingredients required. Uh-huh. Ingredients refer to process collectibles. Oh, so they have to be... You collect them, then they have to be processed, and then you can use them in potions. Use the view ingredient information button to view its unprocessed collectible form and its collection targets. That's smart. Ah, so two squishy chub fur makes one fur extract. Crafting order shown on the right. Two squishy chop fur and extractor. Squeeze the juice. And then witch flower. And then set fire to stage four. Stir the ladle. Don't stir. Pour in the right vessel. So don't stir. Okay. Fire stage four. After processing the collectible, put the ingredients into the witch's pot and adjust the fire and ladle as needed to craft. Okay, so one... Squishy chub fur extract and one witch flower. Mm 
Okay. Oh, it's not D-pad. Oh, it is. One of these. One of these. Uh... Okay. Oh, wait, I put in two. I messed it up. I did not. Okay. I, s I didn't even set the heat. Oh, well. For now, I did it. <laughs> Stubborn weed extermination potion is complete. <laughs> anyway, it's ready. Use it careful, so because there, there's no more ingredients. All right. If we mess this up, then we have nothing. Okay. Use potions. Change potions with the D-pad. Oh yeah, it's bottom right there. Equip potion. Okay. Well, we only have one now. What a cool looking basement. Can I? I was just gonna ask. Yes. Oh, it's as easy as that. Nice. You can now take naps. You cannot take naps at night. You can only take... Oh. We don't... We don't pass out at night. That's so ingrained in me from... Uh, Stardew. Okay, should we try it here? How do I do it? Throw while aiming. Aim with L? Oh. How do I... How do I aim that? Oh, no. Throw while aiming. I don't know how to rotate it, but... Okay, go, 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 go! Yes, we did it. Yay! The way is clear. Dun, 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 dun. Who is this? This isn't a village. Look over there. Prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. Oh no. What do I do with the extractor? First take a look around here. Oh wow, yeah, that's a lot. Gosh, this game is cute. Wisteria. The village is just ahead. Oria. Oh, do you live in the town? Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Uh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. Walk under the blue sky and experience nature. She must really love nature. <laughs> So much that she can't have a conversation? You should respect her interests. <laughs> I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? Oh. A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? Curse of a nature lover? That doesn't make sense. There aren't lots of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy deck and lift the curse should be basic recipe. Ah, oh, but we can't use the machining tool now. I must process what's been collected to make potion. What should I do? Uh, I picked up several ingredients, yeah. Those would be enough to make curse lifting and candy. Did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her where? A glass bottle? Oh! Where? You weren't kidding! Let's make curse lifting candy to lift the curse. To receive that glass bottle as a reward. That would be nice. First, let's check on the candy deck and lift the curse in the book. Um, sunlight potion. Used when fleeing from dangerous animals, plants, monsters, human witches, fruits, clownwork. Tornadoes with eyes. Air muff, yellow star juice, pink star, silver star, nutrition, weed terminator. That's the first one. Okay. 
Curse lifting candy. There it is. Squishy chub fur extract again. Maple herb extract. Two and two. Did we get two? Fire to stage three. Stir the little. Don't stir. Okay. Um, where do I check my inventory? Like, oh, there. Why? I know you guys can't really see. I'm sorry about that. But it's like apple, twigs, witch flower, squishy chub fur, unreadable memo. I have, I have one maple herb extract. Um... So if we go here, two maple herbs makes one maple herb extract. Okay, and then it also said we can see where to find it, right? What's that? Nothing. Takes two to make an extract. Take a look at that huge prickly vine. Oh, sure. I thought I already looked at it, but... Wow, they're really big! <laughs> Too big for the weed terminator potion, I think. We'll have to do something else. We have to stay at the witch's house for a while. This is so cute. Okay, there's one of these plants. Witch flower. But we need maple something, right? Can I maybe draw this? Yes. Silver star bell. Oh, I need a net for this. The silver bell-shaped flower also produces a mellow sound like that of a bell. Echoes of the flower evoke a mel melan melancholy. Melancholy? Yeah, feeling from within. The buds bloom only at night when there's light. When there's no light, then. The pollen that bursts from the bud as it flowers can be collected. Hmm. Climb vines for maple. Okay. Nice. So satisfying to see the pages get filled in. I like it. Which vines do we climb? Did I collect... No, I didn't collect any maple stuff, so I haven't seen it yet. Oh. oh. They went away so quick. Oh, here. Is that it? Dangle mango. Inventory is full. Oh, I can't fill the bottom part. Oh, she. Oh, I can only swap. Oh, swap them in the inventory. Okay, I think I need to go back to my house and then come back. Oh, it's 5 p.m. already. Been looking all day. You only need one. The two is for if you are making the extract. You sure? Oh, put them in the extractor. Oh, you're right. You're totally right. That's a bit confusing. So... Squishy chub for maple herb extract. Stage three. How do I set the fire to three? Oh, L and R. Ah. Ladle direction, L, T, R, T. I see. Okay, so it was one of these and one of these. <laughs> it's so cute. I did it. Oh, you know what? I should actually empty my inventory a little bit. Maybe I should get rid of the twigs and stuff. What are the apples for? I'll keep the mango, because why not? I like mango. You got a problem with that? 
Didn't think so. I wonder if monsters come out at night or something. Oh, I think they do. Can I draw you? What is that? A pumpkin terrier. It lives off of pumpkin type plants. Oftentimes it is covered in pumpkin vines. It loves to play, so it will try and play hide and seek if you attempt to collect from them. Try to remove all the vines wrapped around it if you're curious about its true appearance. <gasps> how do I do that? How do I... How do I move or remove them? Oh! Oh, there he goes! He can't run from me! I didn't... Oh, that was it, apparently. I got fur, though. Hmm. Shall I give her the curse lifting candy? Yes. Should I like to try this? May the blessing of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello. Am I speaking properly now? Yeah, I think so. Oh, thank you so much. To hell with nature. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I guess it really was a curse. I could tell that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet I simply couldn't ignore such, ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but I could only praise nature. Pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. <laughs> With that little face. <laughs> I'm glad it's the curse. I'm glad the curse was easily removed. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Oria. How long has it been since I said my name? <laughs> my name is Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on a train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh, dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. Empty. Oh yeah, there's a witch house there. That's good. I have business in the village too, but the vines stopped me. Nature be damned. I'll be here for a while, so let me know if you need anything. Oh, then can I ask you a favor? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? The tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? You need a glass bottle for the extractor and a ro roaster handle for winding the roaster. Wait a minute, I'll look for them. Do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me a bucket of money. Ah. Oh. Okay. What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make, it, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies. Hmm. Take this. So I just get it? How much is this? Oh, never mind. This is return for breaking my curse. Oh, okay. Then that's nice. Aurea's nice. Unfortunately, I don't have any rooster handle. Oh, pff, I keep saying rooster. Roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. Good. Please bring it then. Okay. I'll write roaster handle in the memo. Take this too. Healing candy. Ooh. Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give this to you as well. Thank you. Sure. Come back next time. We'll be able to fix the extractor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. Are you really gonna leave when the train comes? That's... I'll decide when that happens. Let's just fix the extractor. <laughs> yeah, it's late too. Let's go back. It's dark, I don't wanna be here. Oh, oh yeah, I don't have a net. This is very cute. Um, let's try and fix it. So this thing, right? Ooh. 
We can finally make potions properly. So now we can convert raw ingredients, basically. Remove the gigantic prickly vine. Okay, yeah, how do we learn the recipe? What's your plan? Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make potions from the basic recipes. If you make weed terminator potion, you can get rid of little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to the places that have been blocked. A little more. So the forest. Let's look through the forest. There must be something. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I need to make more... More of this. Squishy chop and witch flower. I wonder if there's a time I'll pass out. Move on. So we put that in here. Cute! Okay, cool. It's easy. Nice. Okay. Uh, Sage 4. Squishy Chub and Witch Flower. Eight, one. Do I have enough for... No. Just the one potion, actually. Witch crow. A crow? Where is it? Oh, on the left there. <laughs> That's cute! Witch! Caw! It's Pope. It's a witch's crow. Oh, it's a witch's crow! The witch returns! The witch returns! This is my first time coming here, though. The witch returns! Not exactly a listener, is he? <laughs> Goods and services. Caw! Goods and services. Witch's catalog. The witch's catalog? I've always wanted to try it out. He needs to head towards Hylian, young lady. But I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find the village, I'm gonna make sure I try it out before I go to Hylian. Limited time only. Register now for a gift. Caw! They're handing out gifts! In limited time only! <laughs> Multi-purpose glue, kitchen accessories, a spork? I need the witch's catalog. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it wouldn't have hurt to have in a pinch. You can buy ingredients or potion recipes from them. Let's register for now. Thank you! Call! Visit employee. Work finished. Closed for the day. Just disappeared. It's not easy getting the message across to witches' crows. I guess I should keep searching for the village. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what the nighttime cycle is and stuff. Also, we don't have a map at all, do we? Only the signposts? Dum -bum -bum. Hmm, so that only opens up from the other side. This is early access, yeah. I think. Oh, there's stuff up here too. Let's see what this is. That's the maple herb. I was right. What's up? Oh, the flower bed? It's grown so much. It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. We better get rid of it before it grows anymore. I'm not even a gardener. Why? You're a witch, Ellie. Dude, I'm so way ahead of you. I already have a potion ready. How do I do it again? Have it. Oh, yeah, X to equip. And then the row. Go, go, go! Oh my god. Let me pass! We did it. Yes! Ha 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 ha! 
Ooh, green forest water. <gasps> Is that a little cute little fox that's stuck? Oh my god, look how cute! We have to go save him! How do we get there? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hi there. Rubrum. Oh, so cute! Someone's stuck in the spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Oh, so cute. Is he even alive? I don't know. Um, gah! <laughs> they woke up. Who? I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. A witch? Wow, this is my first time seeing. Oh, look at that. The little cute eyes. My first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. <laughs> my name is Ribram. We can call them Ruby. <laughs> I live in the village with my grandma. But now I'm stuck in a big spider web. He doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation. Big spider web means there's a big spider nearby. <gasps> you be quiet. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. You have to be careful when dealing with spider webs, Ellie. It looks pretty strong. One wrong move and you'll get stuck in it yourself. Then what do I do? Maple herb works best against insects. Just one maple herb should be enough. I have that. This should work. Like this. Oh. Hey, we did it. Are you okay? Yeah, probably. Can you walk? Okay. Let's go to the witch's house together. I have a friend. Look at him. He's so cute. Follow me, little one. <laughs> He's like, my house is actually the other way, though, but sure, I'll follow you. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you going that way? Sure. Oh no, are you tired? Are you okay? I can't walk because my legs hurt. You were probably up there for too long. I'll give you a hug. I'll give you treatment at the witch's house. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. We got this. See, it's great that we missed our train. Now we saved someone. Someone very cute too. Isn't it heavy? Of course. Really? Just stop talking. <laughs> so cute. I think it's this way. Our village is just a little further from here, but you cannot pass through now because of prickly vines. Let's go to the witch's house for now. Yeah. <laughs> Stop talking. We're here. Wow, a witch's house. Thanks. You sleep for a bit. How's your leg? Still hurts a bit. I have to hurry up and get back to the village. If not, grandma will scold me. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get rid of that huge prickly vine. Whoa, really? I'll make sure to get you back to your village. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Before that, I should treat your leg first. Wait here for a moment. Right. Should we make the healing candy? Oh, I don't know how to make it yet. Hmm. Cough candy. Soft candy. Muscle pain. Maybe this? But that's a lot of stuff that I don't know how to make yet. When you can't reach an itch. <laughs> the fox. I'm just a baby! <laughs> so what should we make? Let's go sleep. We have a lot of stamina to recover. Here, perfect. <laughs> you look dead already. <laughs> I think I had an important dream, but I can't remember. Like the principal sermon? That's something I don't want to think about. My legs still hurt. Any interesting stories? Hmm. What kind of tea do you like? 
Let's go with aromatic. Bird flower tea is a nice aromatic one. Oh, I think it will smell good indeed. I saw a moving flower in the forest. Moving flower? It was a flower. It swayed even when there was no wind. Where did you see it? Near the lake. Thanks, I'll go there later. Hmm. Saved. Thank you. Huh. How would we fix their leg? In your inventory? Oh. I didn't use it. Oh, now it's in here. Oh, thanks. Witch flower and maple herb. Um, I wonder if I have enough. Okay, one witch flower. There's one here. <laughs> there she goes! <laughs> it's so cute. I should try and draw those birds. Easy, does it? Yeah, I did it! Sprout bird. <laughs> cute! Sprout on its head will shrivel up or bloom with flowers. They drop their flowers behind should you scare them away. If well fed, they will bloom lots of flowers. Wait, they leave their flower? Not for me. That should be another one. Nice. Great. This should be enough, right? Oh, I think you actually probably need to wait until you see the flower bloom on their head and then scare them. That might be it. I'll get a couple of these. I'm great at this. I'm, a, I'm not an apprentice witch, I'm a professional witch. There she goes, hobbling on home. <laughs> One of those. One of these. Oh, I can make two of these. Great. Uh, let's check. Healing candy. Witch flower and maple herb. One of each. Stage four. Stir to the right. So that's to the right, right? Yeah. Wait, where's my... Oh, I didn't make maple herb extract. There we go. Okay, four. Four to the right. <laughs> I, oh god, this is awful. I forget immediately if I can't look at it while I'm making it. It might give me a warning if it's not like a viable potion. Okay. I did it. I would probably write down recipes. Ooh, this would be the perfect game for like a really nice guidebook. Candy to heal your leg. Wow, thanks. It looks delicious. It's delicious. This tastes awful. <laughs> it's good for your health. How's the leg? I think I feel better. Thanks, Ellie. Candy tastes awful. How did you get caught in the spider web? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit. But time flew by and by then the giant prickly vines were covering the way. I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of the train. I must have been the one I was riding. I went towards the train and a strange bird suddenly started chasing after me. It must have been that bird, not the train. It was that bird. I went into a deep place and as I was running away. Then I found the treasure map and got caught in the spider web as I was trying to pick it up. Treasure map? Saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that, it, that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. Shall we go check? 
What about the gigantic prickly vine? Oh, well, we can't do much about it yet. It wouldn't hurt to try. Let's go. Can I follow you too? Wouldn't it be better to rest a little more? I'm bored since I'm at home all the time. What do you say? Okay, fine. But be careful. Okay, thanks. Let's go! Is he coming? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> yeah, we can't fight at all. Oh, there they are. Um, hmm. I wonder if the apples are used to recover energy or something. Okay, let's see if we can... There! Ah, I hope that maybe the flower would fall. Is he gonna do it? Yeah! Yeah! Bird flower. Oh, I should have drawn it first. Shit. What's this? I can investigate that, but that's nothing. Hmm. I don't have the right chalk. Okay. Oh, we need to draw something on the floor. So there was a treasure map here somewhere? Is it this weird thing? Oh, it is! You just have to click it. A boom potion. I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design as a symbol of luck, right? <laughs> the important thing is now that I have something to blow things up with. I miss this feeling. Do you plan to destroy everything on top of getting into trouble? What do you take me for? Boom potion. Don't you feel the almighty power just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange that the boom potion was dropped in that secluded forest? Hmm, someone left it there for us? Someone might have hidden it thinking that- it Oh! Do you think a little ruby walked all the way to catch up with us? <laughs> Someone might have spilled it. The boom potion? I don't know. The important thing is now that the boom potion is in my hands. Go, boom potion! Wow, it won't even budge. It must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are these fragments coming out of it? Where? Around your feet. This? Or this? Look at this, Virgil. A splinter. It seems to have worked a little bit. But the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. We might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Hmm, well... Wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Keyword. Oh, maybe... Paper Ruby. Is this a prickly vine fragment? Fascinating. Do you happen to know something about it? No, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like tea. Let's drink some tea later. <laughs> Cute. I'll give you some delicious tea. Yeah, okay. Any interesting stories? No. Goodbye. Welcome. Need anything? I need information on this. Oh, is this a fragment of that prickly vine? Yeah, that's right. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about prickly vines either. But I have something that might be helpful. What is it? Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. Wow, what's that? It's a tool made by some witch. With the power of the moon of the moonstone embedded here, you can find out the identity of that of any object. Okay. Hurry up and try it. I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse, I'll do it for free this time. That's great! Alright, here it goes. Ah. 
looks like an analyzer. Huh? What? Prickly vine fragment has disappeared. That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature. Nah, that's not possible. This tool just shoots moonlight and analyzes... Oh. Maybe it's weak to moonlight. There are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight. Hmm, seems like something's coming up in my mind. Think, Ellie, think! This is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember! Avoiding the moon. There are plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right. Prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. I think I've also heard of plants like that. I'm glad the tool is working fine. Thank you. I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now. I'm the one who should be thankful. Work hard. Do you need anything? Uh, let's chit chat. We should actually check the shop. You can't hide in the desert. You can't cross the horizon even if you run for half a day. In the jungle, it disappears before your eyes, even if you take only five steps. In a deep forest, you must be careful because plants and animals become smart as well as people. I don't have any items right now. Oh, there's no shop yet. <laughs> I just realized when she runs, her eyes shift like that. Look at just the eyes, it's so cute. <laughs> so, if it gets destroyed by moonlight, how do we focus the moonlight? Can we make something? We have a sunlight potion, so I guess we need a moonlight potion? Lunar's oil? Gives you the moon's power. Put one moonflower in an extractor and squeeze the juice. What does the moonflower look like? Pink flower. And a phoenix feather powder. Do we know where to get those? Hmm. The bookshelf. Oh, the one on the right. Oh, I forgot this existed. The Moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? <laughs> I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. <laughs> Look at the size of these books. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? Of course, we're friends, right? Looks like the next few lines are about the Moonflower. Flower. What, really? Let's see. Bitter grape tea tree. That's the tree we saw at the summit. The glow came from the butterflies. Hmm, the tea leaves, blah, blah, blah. Tastes like grapes, strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is. Blah, blah, blah. It's also famous for its flowers, the moonflower. Moonflower, so it was here. There's still more information. Hmm, it gathers moonlight most of the time and on a moonless night, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night. But the tree at the summit had moon butterflies flying around it. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the because of the moonlight emitted by the butterflies. Oh. Okay. Gather moonlight with the butterflies, shoot them away, and collect the moonflower. Alright, let's get rid of the butterflies. What do we use to get rid of them? They don't like sunlight, so a sunlight potion should work. Ah. Interesting. So in order to make this, we make this. Squishy cup for squishy chub, maple herb, and witch flower. Okay, I have no room. Bye! <laughs> Let's see. I have one witch flower, one chub. There. So I need maple herb. Maybe we should go to bed. I don't really like it when it's dark. 
It takes so much of the color out of the screen. Saved. Thank you. Yeah, this is much nicer. I like it. Okay, let's go find some maple. Um, I don't need that. I need this one. Nice. I guess now I can go back. It's just early access, yeah. Someone said that it was a couple hours? Like six, maybe? That you can play right now? Yeah, I'm almost sad that it's early access. I wish... It, that's, that's why I don't really like playing early access, because you just like hit a wall and it's like, okay, no more content. Like, the story will be unresolved. We can't really finish it. Um, and then... By the time that the full game comes out, I'll be like, oh god, now I have to play through this whole bit that I already played just again. So, which, which maple squish? Five clockwise. Which maple squish? Coffee. Mm -hmm. The power of the sun. The sunlight potion is ready. Don't worry, I already have the ingredients. You already have them? First is the moonflower. Did you do everything you want to do? I mean, we could go, but it's daytime. But yeah, we should go. I want to unlock the village. There it is! It's so pretty! They're stuck to the tree as expected. Tons of shining butterflies! You're gonna make them all go away now, right? I feel so bad for them all of a sudden. It's for the tree's sake. Hurry up and sprinkle the potion. Ooh! So that's the sunlight potion. Oh. And now the tree should... Oh, it's pink! It's beautiful! Where are those butterflies going? Wouldn't they go back to where they came from? But the flower... Oh, over there! That is so nice! And the music and everything! So beautiful. It really is beautiful. Now we can just pick up Moonflower and make Lunar Oil. Can you go to the prickly vines and wait for us there? We'll come as soon as the Moon Oil is ready. Oh, okay. I'll be waiting in front of the vines. But what about the... The Phoenix thing? I should make Lunar's Oil. Hmm. That was so nice. That's like, um, oh. it's like the jelly festival in Stardew. When it happens, you're just like, oh, that's so nice. Phoenix feather. Yeah, how do we find that? We have one right here. You told me all about it earlier. What? That's not a good idea. If we do that, we might not be able to get back on the train. Oh, it's in the ticket? We might not make it to Hylian. A witch is always ready to help, starting with the one who needs it the most. Me! <laughs> you just like it here better. Well, of course! You just don't like the witch's house in Hylian. That's true. Stop being childish. You're going to regret it later. No, Virgil. What I will regret is not doing this right now. I'm sure of it. I mean, this is the best way to get practical experience, isn't it? Ah, so she tore her ticket to get the phoenix feather. Ah. You're worse than Arya sometimes. Oh, please. I'm nowhere near as good as my mother. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> All right, let's make Lunar's oil. Let's have a look. Put the moonflower in an extractor. So we get the water. Okay. 
Um, put one phoenix powder in as it is. Okay. Set fire to stage one. Don't stir. Okay. One. Don't stir. These two. Go. <laughs> Lunar's oil! I did it! A potion that emits strong moonlight. It contains the power of the moon. It's expensive due to the rare ingredients. Yeah, how the hell is there a phoenix feather in the ticket? How expensive are those tickets? <laughs> I'm here! Let's hurry up and get rid of the annoying vines. Um... Did you happen to suffer somehow because of me? Oh, Don't worry about it. This was my choice. What I really wanted to do. And this is my choice. Yeah. Get it. Nice. Thanks, Ellie. It's no big deal. You can come to the witch's house anytime you want. Are you gonna stay here? Yeah. I think I'll keep staying here as an apprentice. Really? Really. Keep up the good work, Ruby. Okay, keep up the good work too, Ellie. They're so cute. Hurry up and go home for now. Your grandma must be worried. I'll find you later. Okay, see you in a bit. Yeah. Should we go at night though? Quit acting like a saint. This place seems fun to you, that's all. Virgil, try not to say stuff that makes me sound like the bad guy, will ya? It's a happy ending for all for all if I have fun and they're happy, isn't it? Will the teacher get angry? Like mother, like daughter, that's what they'll say. That's great! That's not a compliment. <laughs> Let's head to the village. Oh, I want to go during the day though. Don't you want to see it during the day? I have finally arrived at the village. Yep, it's a village. What kind of village would it be? I hope a lot of fun things happen here. There will be a lot of annoying things to take care of. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry up and go. So many weeds to pull. Uh, it's quite a dull sight. Virgil, how's the village that you have to stay in for three years? Do you feel like going back to Hylian again? What the heck happened here? What's this evil prickly vine? I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. And something seems strange. It's strange for anyone to see the prickly vines growing only on houses. Is it? I can't see it anywhere. That's not what I meant. It feels like I've been here before. What kind of useless double meaning is that? There's no way you've ever been here. They don't come this far for the witch school picnic. Something feels familiar. Let's find Ruby. Ah. Oh. oh. Of course, we're gonna like slowly restore the whole village. We're gonna fight back all the vines, help everyone out. The village will prosper. Closed. I guess it's a restaurant. <gasps> Food! house looks fine. Can you do business in a place like this? I'll eat it all! Peddler visit hours to 6 p.m. There's a bag there under the bridge. Oh! Oh, Ellie! Thanks for helping me get home. That's nothing special, but it really looks like no one is in the village. Prickly vines drew, uh, drew, uh, pushed everyone out. Now we only have Uncle Arden's and my house. I see. You must be bored. No, it's okay, because Grandma and Uncle Arden are here. There are also lots of fun things in the forest. Grandma wants to meet you. Grandma? She's the village chief. Ooh! They say not in these times, but she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, I'll go. Take care. No? <laughs> oh, she's so cute! Welcome, witch. 
You've done a great job with helping my grandchild. Thank you. I'm the one who received help. You can speak comfortably. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different from their age. All right, I shall speak comfortably, Ellie. Welcome to Hysteria. I'm Enite, the chief of this village. Even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. What happened in this village? What are all those prickly vines? Did you take a look around the village? Yeah, I saw the houses covered with prickly vines. They didn't look like ordinary prickly vines. One day, three years ago, those prickly vines started to grow all of a sudden and destroyed the houses one by one. Why did they start to grow all of a sudden? Actually, there are already prickly vines growing in the village. The white prickly vine at the village entrance was the one originally growing in the village. But I only saw the prickly vines that started growing for the first time three years ago. Hmm. Witch's Curse. Wipe off your drool, Ellie. It's a serious story. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> there were lots of rumors, but no one actually knew why. They started growing all of a sudden, without any explanation. Ooh, Sean's coffee with oat. Really good. What happened to the villagers? Nobody was hurt. The prickly vines grew fast for a plant, but not fast enough to hurt anyone. Even so, people who had no place to live anymore left the village inevitably. Now only Arden and I are left to protect the village. Don't worry, I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly vines and bring the villagers back together. Thank you so much for saying that. But it's too late now. What? All the houses have been ruined already, and everyone left. It's not a village, but two old people with a lot of regrets are protecting the ruins. Aww. Ellie, you should also leave now. It's better to go to the place you're originally planning to go. Do you think something happened? Because they're saying it's the witch's curse. What if something happened, like... Because we found the witch's house empty. Maybe something happened to her, and that's why the vine started growing. I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the village for as long as you want. But leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen. Highland is boring as hell. <laughs> Virgil, bad word! Ellie. There are more people here. Even if the prickly vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village. Even the people who left would want to come back. Even if the prickly vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone would want to come back. But Ellie, people left and time has passed. I don't think those driven out by the prickly vines will ever want to come back to these ruins. They would definitely want to come back. It's a wonderful village that you have been cultivating all your life, Enite. I can't let the village get taken away by those weird prickly vines. You're right, but... Oh, let's go to sleep for today and talk again tomorrow. I'm... You look tired too. Ruby looks like he needs to rest as well. Okay. Don't scold Ruby too much. Yeah, okay. Get some rest. Hey, it's Gambling. <laughs> Yeah, it's dark. Okay. I guess it's time to go to bed. Begin apprenticeship. Sleep for now. What are you trying to do? Enite is right. It requires a lot of Im imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village even if there are no houses. Yeah, but it's not a village if there are no people. The people will come back. That'll be so exciting. Oh my god, I can't wait. You can like restore the whole village and like get like a blacksmith or something or like shops the restaurant. If you're just being ridiculous. No, I definitely heard it. The villagers want to come back. Where did you hear that? I don't know. Maybe in a dream. That's absurd. No. It's absurd. No, it isn't. It's the village that e -Night has lived in for all of her life. Other people would also have loved the village as much as e -Night. You know, you also just met Enite for the first time. 
I can tell even if we met for the first time. There was some kind of throbbing feeling. Who would fix the house even if the prickly vines are removed? There are two old people and one child remaining. You're right, Virgil. Correct. You need a carpenter, yes! First person returning has to be a carpenter. I wish the carpenter could fly if possible. It would be nice to also have about six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have a, a deep dream in order to meet that kind of carpenter. Stop being sarcastic. God, he is such a downer. Debbie Downer. Hey, the merchant's gone. Hat should have a bit more trust in me. It seems like I did have a dream, but I don't remember anything. Are you nervous or something since this is your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course not. Are you ready to start your first day? Of course. <laughs> Do you know what to do? Let me ask what Inai thinks first. She will naturally approve. It will start from the moment she approves. We'll check out the carpenter's house and try and get rid of the prickly vines. We don't have any phoenix feather left. Yeah. It'll work out. Let's go to Inai. Yeah, how do we get the phoenix feathers? Who are you? Diane. Hello. This is the witch's catalog. Oh. This is Diane Greenwind, who brings happiness. Nice to meet you. Yes, hello. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Nice to meet you, Ellie. She has little fangs. What I must, must help you with today is... Oh, you're registering for the first time. That's right. It must have been inconvenient for you to not be able to use the witch's catalog. Just a minute. Okay, thank you for waiting. I need to see the master witch before registering. Is she inside? The Master Witch? I need the Master Witch's signature to register in the Witch's catalog. Oh, that's... Um, I, time to start sweating, Ellie. <laughs> I I made two phone calls this morning and I was like... some uh, Today was not that bad, but sometimes like my anxiety for making phone calls gets so bad that I literally need to take a shower because it gets so sweaty from the anxiety. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, it's done. Okay, I need a shower. Fooling around while I'm out. You didn't forget to register with them? Of course not. I guess the master witch is at some place else now. Are you talking through the hat? Y yes <laughs> Stay quiet, Ellie, you unfinished dumb hat of a little rascal. Why can't you even do one thing properly? God, the hat hat really needs to be a little bit nicer i told you to tell me when the witch's catalog employee comes i'm sorry i was just about to tell you oh sure then i guess ellie can just sign instead because the master witch is here uh, i guess the hat is helping me out now you also receive a gift if you join now Ooh, a gift what is it a witch's broom <sighs> Ooh, finally you can just sign here and here okay just a minute Yep, that's it. Then I'll explain how to use the catalog. Yes. Every morning, a witch's catalog employee will come. In this case, me. I'm planning to be here from 8 to 6 p.m. Oh, so it's just the whole day. You can just purchase the items you need from me during that time. We do not accept gold coins and only accept Luna coins. What's that thing called Luna coin? Luna coin is a Bitcoin. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> a witch shows up. I was like, here's your broom. Also, we only accept Bitcoin. <laughs> Currency used in witch society. It's called Luna coin because it is made of an ore with the power of the moon. Also, it doesn't physically exist. It's just digital online. Don't you know already that since you were also raised in a witch society? I think I learned it in school. It's just that I don't think I call money something else in my life. After all, only Luna coins are used in the Witch Society. How do I earn Luna coins? I guess you don't have enough Luna coins. What? Basically, yes. <laughs> the Witch's administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for such incidents. Please let us know at any time since we purchase regardless of the type. Sell potions. 
Merchants can carry different items and currencies. You can sell using the shop keyword in dialogue. All right, got it. There's also the special potion delivery service. Every day of the week, we buy potions at a higher price. You can select one out of three in the list and provide and deliver within two days. Ah. Oh. Since we're buying at a higher price, don't lose this nice opportunity. Merchants buy extra potions according to special rules on top of usual potion sales. So it's basically like Animal Crossing. Certain days, certain items are hot. So you get more money for them. Do you have any more questions? Not anymore. All right. Feel free to talk to me if you need anything. The gift. <laughs> the broom. Yay! It's old but still useful. Wow, thank you. Finally, my own broom. <gasps> we can ride it! You can move faster if you ride- okay. Have a nice day. This has been Diane. Do you think it went well? Looks like the urgent fire is out. How's my acting skill? You? I'm the one who did the acting. You were dumbfounded. It was all an act being dumbfounded. This might become a problem later on. I told you, I'm good at acting. <laughs> the fact that they're, the Master Witch is not here. The Master Witch must be at the Witch's house. We can't just ha be, have an Apprentice Witch. Okay. There's still the matter of the Witch who was originally here at this Witch's house. It would be nice if we know who that Witch is. Could also be someone with malice. Let's ask the villagers later on. Yeah, I wonder. And if it's connected to the vines, it might be an evil witch. Um, deliver potions with the broom from now on. Okay. Potion delivery quests and apprenticeship that you choose to do as needed. Opt to refuse. You can use the keyword to do it later. So... Diane! Huh, what was that? That was unprofessional of me. Did something happen? I'm not sure if it's okay to tell you this since we just met. What is it? The potion purchase service, yes. There have been reports of bad potions. Hmm. As a result, the administration has issued a notice to each catalog salesperson to test She's drinking a potion? A suspicious potion. Potion quality is also a matter of a witch's confidence. You can't do it yourself. I need a witch to accompany me with a test for certification. If it's alright, may I ask for your help? Small reward, but I made some nubicula cupcakes. My mom would always buy one for me on a weekend if I'd been good for the week. Oh, that's nice. So naturally, I've hardly had any. <laughs> All right, I'll help. Thank you. Take this. Nutrition potion. Temporarily supplies a large amount of nutrients to a plant. It usually used as an emergency measure on dying plants. And a bird cage. Start testing as soon as possible. You test on animals? Wait. Really? <laughs> Throw the potion at the bird? You're testing on animals? I don't like that. When the results appear, please gather them and take a look. I'll record the details like the data, weather, time, wind direction, etc. Please let me know if you make a bad throw. You're very serious about this. Oh. I don't like that. Oh, tons of flowers. Four new flowers have bloomed. Mmm, moderate temperature, mild wind, low humidity. Great! That went well, right? Yeah, we can relax now. It's at least one of them is normal. This is the reward I promised you. Cupcakes. I don't know if I like her um, unethical approach to these tests. <laughs> I request that this is a test this time, but using potions to collect will be much more convenient. Okay. 
Yes. If well fed, they will bloom lots of flowers. Right. Okay. Have a nice day, Ellie. Can I take the flowers? Nice. Finally, you can look at your shop. That's what I wanted. <laughs> so what is this catalog? Cupcakes. Ooh, recipes. Okay, now it's getting interesting. Nutrition potion. Twinkle twinkle juice. Use it for light. Makes your body glow with light. Oh, that's what we need for at night. Earmuff potion. So I have six coins for some reason. Useful for blocking out loud noises. <gasps> the net! We should buy that. Ooh, chalk is 25. Yeah, let's buy the net for now. Cool. Um, okay, let's remember those recipes. Potion sale, upgrade your workshop? Work tool. You can improve the tools used for processing and crafting. Oh, you can maybe make more potions at the same time. Multiple potions, yeah. You can upgrade processing tools such as extractors, roasters, and witches' pots. Ah. How much does it cost? 70 Luna coin, 12 branches, and 6 pieces of rock. Oh. We have like 2 pieces of rock. <laughs> the roaster can't be improved. 100 Luna coin, 16 branches, 8 pieces of rock, and 8 mud. Huh. Okay. Deliver Diane's potion. Delay's delivery list has been updated. Please check the delivery list. Make a selection. 36 Luna coins. Ooh. Um, okay, what do I. Delivery list is two curse lifting candy. Deliver by tomorrow once you've chosen. Be careful as you can't cancel. Yeah. Okay, so two curse lifting candies. By tomorrow. Interesting. Squishy chop and maple herb. That's not too hard. So we need we need to make two. So that means we need four fur and four maple herb. <laughs> Squish him. Get him. Squish. That's two. We still need to go to the village too. And then we need to get maple, but I'll get to the village first. It's only 9 a.m. We should be fine. Squeeze. Squeeze the bunny. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so excited for more of this game. This seems like a game we can really put a ton of hours in. Oria, long time no see. It hasn't been that long. Yeah, yesterday. Perhaps it's been a while since I've been here. Did you remove the prickly vines? Yep, nothing special. You're humble. You did really well. This village has been really gloomy for the past few years. I'm just getting started. You can definitely notice the way they speak and how it's translated that it's an Asian game. Because it's Korean. You can really tell, I mean, it's very good for early access, like, I'm not complaining, but you can really tell there's, like... Like, there's still some phrasing that needs to be redone. I'll never give it up, no matter what happens. <laughs> you sound reliable. <laughs> Did you happen to bring the thing that pr you promised last time? Of course! Are you talking about the melon? No! <laughs> the roaster handle! I'm kidding, of course I brought it. Oh, did your big furry animal break his leg? Can we make him a potion? The things on sale will be trivial things. Instead, it's, I have a good offer for each other. Do you want to hear it? 
Sure, what is it? Since Visteria is not an environment to bring good products... I didn't mean it that way. There's a good witch here. I want to use the witch to our advantage. Can't even see it from up here. <laughs> I'm pretty confident with my eyes whether it might be a person or a thing. So Ellie, I want you to leave the I want to leave the work to you. You will also receive proper wages since good things deserve good prices. I think I'll ask for potions or animal and plant gathering here. Ah, so we can do tasks for her. It's really good for a Korean game. Oh yeah. It's a little off sometimes, but for early access, like this is like a first draft probably, it's really good. I'm assuming the game seems so like properly thought out already, so well done and really thorough that I think they'll probably have like a whole like grammar check, quality check before official release, I think. I'll also look at the quality of products properly. Good things deserve good prices. It means a bad price or bad products. <laughs> Just like the hat said. Therefore, it's Virgil. The hat deserves a bad price. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Ellie and Virgil. Okay, we'll work hard. Can I talk about work right away? Of course. Okay, I can only sell candies that can be used by non-witches. Okay. 10 healing candy in just one day? That's kind of hard, isn't it? I will also have to talk to the person who buys it. If I need that many potions, I'll tell you one day in advance. Oh, so you have two days to get all the materials. You, you might just be able to do that. That's hard. Must deliver after making a promise. That's because trust is important. If you think you can't because of other things, you just say you can't. Okay, so it's not as easy going as Stardew. Like, you can't take on a mission if you can't finish it. 150 gold coins for two healing candy. But we also said we would make the curse candy for some, for the, 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 the delivery, which. Is it doable? I know where like three maple candies are, but if we take this as well, that means we need eight. I don't, I'm worried that we're gonna mess up our first order. <laughs> Should be. Fair few maple on the way to the big tree. Okay. So is it just if I visit her tomorrow, that's fine? It's not like tomorrow morning or anything. Tomorrow's the deadline. Oh, I can do it today if I have it. Okay. So we need to make two of these and then two of these. So, okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. We just need a lot of maple herb. Okay. Oh yeah, how do we use the broom? Maybe not in the village. Hello, e Knight. Hello, Ellie. Did you sleep well? I thought about it yesterday, but I'm still not sure. The villagers. You mean they would want to come back, right? I don't know why you're more confident than me when I lived my whole life in this village. Even so, I decided to believe in that happy thought. Really? If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the resident who was living in that house. If that resident refuses, don't worry, it won't happen. Ellie, you're so nice. Everything will be fine, don't worry. I guess so. Who should we get first? Was there a carpenter in the village by any chance? Because I think the first thing we need is a carpenter. Of course. The house at the upper left side from the central fountain of the village belongs to Kyla, who is a carpenter. It would be better to remove the prickly vines from Kyla's house first. That would be better. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I will try to contact Kyla. Leave it to me! You're doing me a favor. Let's get this started. Yeah, how do we get more phoenix powder? Let's look around Kyla's house and collect information. Okay. 
<laughs> so cute. So, information here. What's this? There's a lot of weeds I can pluck, but... I can't investigate anything. How do I take out my broom? I don't know. Hmm. I thought that was something. Oh, now it's there. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We're scooting! <laughs> Amazing. Maybe this way we don't use any stamina? <laughs> Get that one. That is so cute. Get this one. That's two. Six more to go. Four, three, have we been here? Oh, there's way more here. Two. Can I, oh, can I fix this? Oh, I don't have chalk. Can I get up here? Oh, what's this? Can I draw it? I don't know what it is. I can't do anything with it. Hmm, I found something special. That's enough of that. Back on the broom. Boosh! <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, one more maple. Where are we gonna find it? Hey, what's wrong with this? Looks like we need to dig the a broom grave for the twelfth time. Durability's low. I barely wrote it too. Oh, it just it just breaks. Ah. There was a good workbench at the workplace. I can fix it. Oh, a branch or a mud. Oh, so we need to fix it up every now and then. Oh, there's one right here. I guess the broom broke at the right time. Okay, that's enough maple. That's enough slices. Let's go back. And one and two. Look at us making all these potions. Okay. Oops. I keep getting on it. Because <laughs> I keep wanting to back out of the menu. Okay, let's make the curse lifting one first. Stage three. Fur and maple. Fur and maple. Yes. Let's do that again. Nice. Okay, and now we need to make the other ones. The healing candy, right? That's the ones that they wanted. Witch flower, maple, four clockwise. Okay. Okay. Whew, I thought I made a mistake for a sec. Now we can deliver. Let's do that first. I know I still have tons of time, but... Yay! 36 coins! Hell yeah! Delivery complete! Thank you! Ellie, wait a second. Did you know you can upgrade work tools? Yes. 
This is Diane who brings happiness. Okay. Uh, so it's one thing a day you can do. That makes sense. Um, so this was... 70 coins, branches, and rock. That's probably the easiest thing to do. But, yeah, we just have, like... We have, like, 40 coin now. Yeah, 39. We could buy these recipes. Ooh, or the chalk. Because then we can open up some of the environment. Oh, it's 25 a piece. Let's do one. Oh, no, no, no. Um, and then we can do one recipe. Nutrition for the flowers. I guess... It might be that thing of, like, if we throw nutrition potion at, like, the one of the herbs that we've been plucking. Maybe it, like, multiplies and then you get four of them. That might be what it is. Oh, the nutrition potion might regrow some of the withered vines. That might be it, too, yeah. Yeah, just because maybe it uh, gives us access to new areas. Yes. There we go. We need silver starbell pollen extract. Bush bug. Oh, the bush bug. We can um we can capture those now. The silver starbell, I don't know though. Does time pass in the catalog? Do you think? Okay, it's 410. I don't know. It disappears, so you can't see it, but they keep moving, so I'm guessing. Yeah, it's 420 now. Please. So time doesn't pause when you're in your recipe book. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna deliver all my stuff one day early. Hey, hey, hey. Feels good. Oh, she's chilling on the bench. I'll ask you again. Do you need anything? Sounds so threatening. Now that we have money. Branches. Ooh, mud. Where do we find mud? Epic of the hero Don Julius. Julius. <laughs> it's because of the Spanish game we played. I said Julius. Compendium of Mushrooms. Oh, there's the handle. It's 150. Oh, I guess we should get that then. Skill books? They might be. This one seems like it teaches you about mushrooms, yeah. Shoe shiner with a fairy? Someone who wants to fly? Yeah, maybe this is like better durability for your uh, broom. It could be. I'm gonna just get the roaster handle. Sun feels so nice again today. Do you have something to say? I guess I didn't say thank you properly. Thank you so much for helping Ruby. Oh yeah, where's Ruby? I've heard enough thanks already. <laughs> it would have been really hard if you didn't come. Ruby, me and even this village. Thanks again. Hmm. I want to check out that little bag. What is that? see a bag dropped here. People here are sloppy. Let's take it for now and try and find the owner. Hmm. Maybe it's a keyword? I used to read fairy tales whenever Ruby didn't want to go to sleep. Oh, we can't ask about the bag. Hmm. Do you have a favorite fruit? <gasps> definitely has to be strawberry. Out of this lineup? Yeah. I like strawberries. Strawberries. Is there anything you can't eat or don't like? I don't like fish. Don't worry, I don't put fish in my pie. 
among the pie materials. Mmm, cinnamon. Oh, you can't eat? Oh, I thought you liked cinnamon. Mm, shit. It's not that great, but I'll bake you some pie. Oh, I'll definitely come. Take care. Bye. Okay, so. Oh, Ruby, there you are. Speak of the devil. Would you like to join? Any interesting stories? Hmm. I like playing in the forest. Be careful. You might end up like last time. Hey <laughs> hey. <laughs> Goodbye. We can there's a work oh yeah, wait, we have the handle thing. So what does the roaster do? Make more potions. Dried pumpkin terrier fur. Oh, I have that. I have the fur in my storage. Oh, uh, how do I switch? Let's see. Oh, I need four. Never mind then. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> That didn't quite work out. Arden's bag. Oh, Arden's. Wait, have we met Arden yet? Yeah, let's fix the broom. Broom maintenance is a standard course at the school. Hmm. I wanted it to spit fire, but wasn't water cool too? <laughs> it was just once. Okay. So, do we just put it in? Nothing inserted. How do we... Oh. Ah, so four branches is a thousand points in durability. Okay, that's not too bad. So you just need to put sticks in it for fuel, basically. Hmm. Check the state of Kyla's house. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. How do I investigate? Oh, it's dark now. I should keep grabbing branches now. For my broom. Broom, broom. Don't forget mud. Oh, how do I use the net? Uh. Okay, I used it. Uh-huh. So how do I... Oh, okay. Um... There. Yeah! Silver Star Bell Pollen! Hee <laughs> We're doing it! So how do we investigate this house? I just talked to it. Okay. This must be the house of a person named Kyla. Same condition as the other houses. If you don't get rid of prickly vines, there's no point in rebuilding the house. Now that we know the location, let's ask other villagers. Ah. But it's nighttime, so they're probably gone. Oh, is there someone in here? Oh! Arden! Hey, you're a witch. I'm Ellie. Hello. Arn, dragon. Dragon and a cook. Do you help Ruby? You're pretty kind. Don't mention it. Are you gonna stay here? I think I'll end up doing so. Why are you staring at me like that? Ah, I'm sorry. It's my first time seeing a dragon with my own eyes. Normally you wouldn't see one. Even mom said that she seldom met a dragon. That's why I wasn't sure, but you're a real one. I never thought I would meet a chef dragon in a place like this. Since dragons have no reason to mingle with humans. I think I was like that too. I can't tell you the reason even if you look at me with those eyes. I don't remember now. 
It's kind of weird to call it a reward, but tell me if you're hungry. It's usually not for free. This is for helping Ruby. Take it. Beef bread. Piping hot bread. Crunchy bread holds moist beef and vegetables inside. Thank you. The last one. Did you promise to get rid of those prickly vines? Yeah, that's right. Will you be able to do it? Of course. I'll bring the village back to its former appearance. That's some confidence. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Prickly vines. Just in case you know something. Well, I don't know much about it. I just feel the malice filled in it. Malice? Prickly vines that will only destroy houses? So unnatural. Yeah, it's like the village is cursed. It's not someone's malice, but what would- If it's not someone's malice, what would it be? Is there someone who would do such a terrible thing? I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know anything. How about searching through the witch's house, at least? Sure. On the way to the witch's house, please do me a favor. I lost a bag containing important ingredients. Oh, we found a bag. I think I lost it somewhere near the water. Please try and find it for me. I remember carrying it into the village. Oh, I picked up a bag next to the river. Is this the one by any chance? That is it. I got more beef bread. I thought he said that was the last, last bit. I thought he said he gave me the last bit. I was looking for it. Here, here, take this. What's going on? Okay. So they said to check the witch's hut. Um, for clues. Do you think we can still go to the top house? Or is it too late to go in? Oh, cute! Oh, she's knitting! TikTok for a long time. TikTok with grandpa. Any interesting stories? Prickly vine in a village is not so good. <laughs> not so good? It's bitter, spicy, and not tasty. It also smells fishy. You ate it? I drank it by drawing it as tea. Oh. I dried and roasted by picking only thorns, and it was hard. I guess you drink everything as tea. There's so many delicious tea ingredients in the forest. I like apple bush because it's sweet. <gasps> I can make it tea. Grandma says the bird flower tea smells good. Oh, I can make that into tea. Oh. I'll also make you some tea, Ellie. I look forward to it. It tastes similar to that thing. Prick, white prickly vine and little honey pumpkin. Ah. White prickly vine has a good scent. If it tastes similar, can you see it as a similar breed? Thanks anyway, that was helpful. Hmm. Okay. Do you have something to say? Yes. When it first appeared, I tried very hard to get rid of it. I tried an axe and also set it on fire, but it was useless. No matter how I made the scar, it healed quickly. That resembles the white prickly vine. Isn't that right? But the white prickly vine disappeared completely when there was a full moon. And these vines didn't disappear even when there was a full moon. It's as strong as the white prickly vine, but doesn't disappear in the moonlight. That's strange. We thought so too. I mean, it is the providence of nature that if there are strong places, there are also weak places. This is all I know. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. It's okay. It was helpful enough. I think I asked everyone. Try summarizing what you've heard. Similar characteristics as white prickly vine. Ruby said it tastes like little honey pumpkin. Then it's probably also similar to the little honey pumpkin. Arden didn't tell me anything in particular. He said it was someone's malice. Seeing as prickly vine can destroy and get rid of a house is enough to make you think so. Arden thinks it's the witch's work. Witch's curse. In a world like today? Old fashioned. <laughs> you wouldn't think so if you've been to Lucerne. But the witches of the old days are still alive. Let's find the culprit later. Let's think about Kyla's house first for now. Let's go look through the witch's house, like Arden said. I think it might have... I might have seen something related to the prickly vine at the bookshelf. That's... That's smart. It's like an easy way to... Like, if you have to do research, it's just like, okay, let me go back. 
look at the shelf, might find something. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, it had to work on it, right? So I had to just leave it and do some other stuff. Okay. A uh, book related to prickly vine. Anything? I can't read anymore. I can't finish reading this here. Finish reading it. Who would get rid of the prickly vines if I die? People don't die just because they read a book for a long time. <laughs> She's back on her bullshit. <laughs> I mean, Arya's daughter might die. Look at this book. It looks like there's more than a thousand pages. Anyone would die after finishing this. Then you're not going to read anymore? I think I'll throw up if I read one more text. I think the important details come out right after that. What? Really? Where? The first dew of spring, a red moon butterfly. The fourth dawn of summer. Summarize if you're not going to make it. Mix well and put in the desired plant seeds to make a new plant. It's a method to combine the plant's characteristics. The prickly vines in the village were combined using this method. Oh, so it's like combining the best of all the different plants. From the information I heard, it seems to be a combination of lily, little honey pumpkin and white prickly vine. Wait, why is this book here? Someone's malice. But... Naturally, that book is not uncommon. It is a book that any witch who is interested in plants would have. Correct. It's merely a possibility. I mean, both of them. For now, this one has the priority. Which one? The part that removes the prickly vines. Let's look through Kyla's house again. Okay, it is 10 p.m. though, but... Let's just go. Let's hobble along. Doom, boom, doom. Okay, so what are we looking for? Oops. It's definitely shaped like prickly vine and colored like little honey pumpkin. That means the villagers couldn't get rid of this prickly vine because... You can't get rid of it unless you get rid of the core, just like little honey pumpkin. Oh... Interesting. You can get rid of the prickly vine if you get rid of the prickly vine core. Since it's a plant, the prickly vine and the core must be connected in some way. Look over there! What? I don't see it. The prickly vine is connected to the outside of the village. We can find the core if we follow that. Oh! Let's find the core. Moon's power should weaken the core since it's like the white prickly vine. Lunar oil again? Where are you gonna get a phoenix feather? We have moonflower, but phoenix feather is the problem. Let's just go buy a train ticket again. I don't have that much money. What do we do? Will Diane sell it? They would sell it for a high price or not carry it. I wonder if there's a potion with the power of the moon among other potions. You picked up a note last time, didn't you? Ah, oh, I did. It looked like a recipe. How about decoding it? It would be making moons something potion to remove the prickly vine. Diane would know if we ask her, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's time to get the... So yeah, here it is. If we follow this, we might find something. Maybe it goes outside the village? Or down here. Hmm? I don't know. Or it's this. But then, where does it go? Here? Oh, I keep pressing B accidentally. Uh-huh. Is it this way? Oh, but I can't go there. Hmm. Maybe there's one we can reach. Oh yeah, we should try and catch the the butterfly. Here. Ah, oh, it flew away. I guess I need to like stealth. Let's stealth. 
Yeah, I did it. Is it here? Oh, I guess it's time to go to bed. What time was it? Did you see? I had a strange dream. I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, I should get the note. It might be midnight. There it is. What do I do with the butterfly? Yee! Can I make anything here? No. Maybe here? Oh yeah! I made a new thing! Blue moon butterfly extract. Oh, we're gonna kill the butterflies? That's a shame. Um, I pulled it away for now. Storage is full. God. We need to upgrade that. Okay. Let's ask her about the potion. Can you read what's written on this note? Shall I take a look? Hmm, ancient witch language. Can you read it? I remember learning it when I was attending school. See, you're the only one who fell asleep in the class. What does it say? Hmm, moons, moons. I can only read up to this. What? I forget everything because it's been a while since I've learned it. <laughs> That's because Diane graduated a long time ago. What's your excuse? Hasn't been that long since I graduated either. <laughs> then is there any way to decode the ancient witch language? Of course. Really? Ancient witch language is definitely a subject you learn in school. So there must be knowledge on the ancient witch language in Ellie's head. In short, it's not a matter of knowledge, but a matter of intelligence that brings it out. That hurt a little. Truth hurts. That's why I recommend the Enhanced Intellect Potion. Ah. It raises your level of intelligence, like memory, deduction, and language. Deciphering ancient witch language will be easy with better memory and deduction. Sounds like a drug peddler. <laughs> I only use the recipes approved by the Witch Potion Society. Careful though, long-term usage can cause vomiting and intellectual decline. <laughs> they don't seem minor. Don't worry, there's no problem at all if you use it once or twice in a while. Since I have the potion re recipe registered, you can buy one if you need it. Okay. Uh, let's check the shop in that case. There it is. It costs 10 and we have four right now. Um, how about deliveries? She needs two healing candy. Okay. We can get that. Okay, two healing candy. Which flower? We have a witch flower extract, right? So we just need the maple. Broom time! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I can boost as well. <laughs> so cute. I'm back. <laughs> Got the zoomies, yeah. Make me this one. Okay. I'm getting good in this. Oh, I already have it on me. Okay, healing candy. Stage four, clockwise. 
Bam. <laughs> okay. Now. I have it. Or did she want two? I was too eager. Ah, I am only an apprentice after all. Back I go. <laughs> I wish there was a quicker way to return home. I guess maybe... Maybe at some point you can make a, a potion that lets you instantly return home. And maybe eventually you can start making better potions so they have like multiple uses. So like one potion, one teleport potion has three uses or something. That would be nice. Hi! Give me money! Yes! 30 coins. Nice! Now the shop. We need the intellect potion. Recipe. Thank you. Should we buy anything else? Twinkle twinkle juice. I guess we could. Ah, oh, we're just one short for chalk. Um, I hope we get a recipe for chalk or something so we can make our own. Maybe start saving for upgrades. That is true. Well, I mean, it's only early access, so... I don't think we can get much. Okay. Um, yes. Intellect potion. Let's see. Dried pumpkin terrier fur. Isn't that what I made? Bird flower water. Oh, bird flower in the extractor. Four. I have four. Just because I was curious and I just wanted to make it just for the sake of it. And now I have it. Yes. Let's make some tea. Okay, so. Uh, three, don't stir. Okay. <laughs> nice. So do I just drink it? What do you think? Do you think he became a little smarter? The earth is round. <laughs> the earth is flat. If it is round, how do people below or next to it stand up? That's because the earth is pulling the objects above it. And the reason why such force appears is... Don't be silly, just read the note. <laughs> That's amazing. Ancient witch language is simple. Tears of the moon. A bunch of moonflower and a cup of sacred water. It is completed by boiling the juice from moonflower and the sacred water while stirring it clockwise over low heat. Simpler than I thought. Wait, there's more writing. It was made because it was difficult to manage with Lunar's oil. I can't read anymore. <laughs> I guess the medicine is wearing off. I still read the important information. Sacred water. Where can we get this? You can normally get it from a place like shrines, but I think you have to buy it from Diane here. Good. Since we have Moonflower, let's make it right away once we get the sacred water. Okay. Ask where to find it. Hello, Ellie. Diane, do you happen to sell an ingredient called sacred water? Yes, I have it. Should I have it registered in the catalog if you need one? Yes, please. All right, but it's a little expensive. How expensive? 150 Luna coins. Ugh. So we earn 30 every delivery. So that means we need to make five deliveries. It's a precious ingredient. Can you sell on credit? Selling on credit is kind of... I really need that ingredient. Hmm. I will definitely pay you back. The Master Witch will also stand surety. Stand surety? 
guarantee is possible. Just a minute, let me think about it. Would she do it? At times like this, third class people refuse. Second class just accepts. What about first class? They would promise to give something bigger. Although they would also take that much. That's kind of scary. I've made the decision. I'll give you the sacred water on credit. Is that all? Sure. She's second class. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry about it. So are you really giving it to me on credit? Yes, I usually don't, but Ellie is my valued customer. This time I will especially give it to you on credit. Huh. Wow, thank you. Instead, I will give you on the surety of Ellie and the Master Witch here. I mean guarantee. Please keep my trust as much as I'm giving it to you by trusting your guarantee. Of course. I'll make sure to pay back, don't worry. I mean, one thing they could do is just lock the shop until you've paid it off and then you can start buying other things again. My goal is to get off work on time. Goodbye. Weird. Um, so I have sacred water and I need moonflower water. So we have enough to make it. This is so fun. It's definitely also, uh, for anyone wondering, it's really nice with a controller. I think I, I will definitely prefer controller over the control scheme that I've seen. That was just scary. <laughs> Stage two, ladle to the right, clockwise. Yeah, I'm just using Xbox. If you have Game Pass, it's free right now. The early access. I think the- is it- is the early access free anyway on Steam as well? I'm not sure. But yeah, X, I, I just downloaded it on Xbox with Game Pass. Now we have to find the nucleus. Okay. Ooh, Tears of the Moon. I should put some of this stuff away if I can. Yes, I have space. We were following these. There's some that go this way, but we can't go any further. Then there's some that go up. This way. Are there any here? Not that I can see. Further up. Oh, there's definitely these here. Yeah. They go all the way up there, but there's no path. There has to be a way to get across. Get closer and have a look. Oh, the nutrition potion. As long as this one is fine like the one next to it, I think I can cross. It's withered. I need to make find a way to make it grow. A way to make it grow. It has to be the nutrition potion, right? This one. It has to be that, right? Bushbug. Oh, we haven't gotten bushbug yet. Um, two to extract it. Okay. Do we have two silver star bell pollen? Pollen? I don't know about the maple either. I guess we should start collecting. I do need another butterfly. Oh, I don't want to kill you, but... I don't want to make him into juice. <laughs> so that's one thing that we know now. This game is not vegan friendly. <laughs> or vegetarian for that matter. You test on animals and you, you kill animals. <laughs> I need it. Yes. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go to work. Epic music plays as the <laughs> elevator descends. I can use the butterfly. I know, it sounds awful, but for the sake of progression in this game, 
I will make one. Poor butterflies. <laughs> Silver, maple, bush bug. Okay, so we have the ingredients. Uh, set it to three and clockwise. Okay, silver, maple, bush bug. Let's try that. I know the game wants us to ask around, but I think... I think this will be enough. Here it is. Do you think we have to throw it here? Should we just try it? I'm gonna try. Yes! And you wonder why people look for witch's potions. Okay, let's follow it. Yeah, let's do it. Woohoo! And there's maple here. Let's go! What's up? Reveal! Oh, I can't. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh, this might be a good one to fix. Although, again, if you just climb the vines, why would you want to... Oh, this is a good one, though. Yeah, this is definitely a good one. Do it. Yes, good shortcut. Where is it going? Where are we? Oh, big area. Okay. Well, let's just follow the... What is that thing? Is it a frog? Huh? Oh, maybe we can draw it. Try not to scare it. Yeah. Yee! One-eyed frog. They're known for having only a single eye. Hind legs are always ready to escape. Very cautious, so approaching them without care will leave you only with awe at the strength of their hind legs. We can catch them. Yes! I did it. It's a new area. Oh, is that mud? I think that's mud. Wetland grass. Shares the appearance of underwater plants. Secretion from its leaves can cause itchiness on the skin. Picking them up barehanded is not recommended. Wear gloves. Hmm. Is this mud? Can I collect this? I don't think I can collect- oh, this- I can. Yeah, I got mud! Oh, the screen is dark because I'm about to pass out. No, Where is it? Go, 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 go! Hurry up! Get it! Get it! Oh my god, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. It's Stardew all over again. No. <sighs> Well, it's a new day. At least there's no penalty to passing out yet. Good morning. <laughs> um, uh, I guess I should work on potions with her, but... Dude, I just want to continue on where I was. So I'm gonna boost before my broom breaks. It's gonna break really soon. So, this shortcut should be open now. Yay! Look at that! Okay, that was the broom. Oh. What are those? What are you? Hee <laughs> hee. Blue bubble lizard. 
Leaves their pond to bask in sunlight on sunny days. Their dull face and tendency to drool makes them quite popular. They love getting their belly rubbed. The hard bubble they release when they feel happy is used as an ingredient. <gasps> Can I? I have space. Do it! Do it! Pet him! Can you roll over? <laughs> Am I doing it? A smile bubble scratch his belly <laughs> That was so cute I should see if I can draw more there might be some other stuff <laughs> A smile bubble I love it Oh that's just an apple Hmm there's so much to explore. Okay, let's see. Let's see where this goes. We can also climb down there. Maybe that's what we're hearing. Maybe it's like an animal that's hurt or something. Ooh, is that a recipe? Oh, that's chalk. Oh, we need another nutrition potion to get it. Is it just these guys? What is that sound? So noisy. I'm sure the Gaga bird would make a sound like this if we hang it upside down. There it is. It's a real Gaga bird. That one is hanging upside down though. Maybe for the bird that's upside down. Prickly vine traces continue to the forest behind the bird. Oh. Do you think we can get through? I think we need the, the potion that takes care of the sound. Yeah. Can we take this? Wait, what's that? Inventory's full. Oh, now it's just here. Oh yeah, I have a frog in my inventory. And bubbles. <laughs> Scratch that belly. <laughs> I should probably get four. Because it's everything so far has been going in twos. There you go. Huh. Oh, I can't get that. Mm, my inventory is full. We might. Oh, I can't get that either. I think. I think we can make a shortcut. Yeah, this is like right by our house. I love the way she runs. Yeah, a little goblin run. I love it. <laughs> Uh, maybe we can use... Okay, these are good to have. I don't know what we can do with the frog. Wait, what did I make again? Uh, oh yeah, the potion is for the vine core. But we can't get there yet. Smile bubble extract. There we go. We only have two more things on here that are question marks right now. Doing pretty good. Oh, I think this is like a regular box, and then this is like a special box. I think uh, this box is only for potions. Okay, so we need that recipe for loud noises, which means we need to talk to the lady and earn some money. We need the air muff potion. Oh, we have enough money. Blocking out loud noises. Yes. She wants two curse lifting candies for 36 coin. That's pretty good. We can probably make that. Okay. Oh yeah, what do I use the frog for? Wonder how you get more storage. It might be something in the village or something. Has the effect of keeping the drinker from perceiving noises. It may affect your ability to communicate if you don't focus carefully on the noise. Okay. One eye frog roast. Oh, there it is. I guess I need to put it in the roaster. 
Let's start with that, because that's going to take a while to roast. Poor Froggy. Let's just assume he's already dead, okay? We're not roasting him alive. Oh, I need two. I need two frogs. Okay. <sighs> We're roasting frogs, yeah. I mean, we are witches, so it does make sense. I think that mm, shouldn't be the sound for the... Oh yeah, what else? We want... Wetland, grass, water, and blue moon butterfly. So with the butterfly extract we already have, so that's good. We just need wetland grass. Two. Okay. And we need two wetland grass and a frog. And some twigs. And now we have this beautiful shortcut. Yay! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, if we had chalk, we could get that. Okay, so if we get... Okay, let's see if we can find some of the grass. If we get another nutrition potion... Nice. Then we could... Um, get that other chalk and then get that shortcut wherever that may lead okay now we just need a frog i think the frog only comes out at night though this is so cute just walking through the forest exploring do you think they just like will dive in the water we might have to leave and come back or something oh what's that oh <gasps> Oh, this is why we need the potion to see in the dark. Huh. That is interesting. Oh, and then if we come out there, then we can make the shortcut. Hmm. Oh, there's the frog. Let's go. Wait, can I? Oh, what's this? Hello? Oh, someone will move in here. Oh. Hmm. We're getting like little sneak peeks at things to come. We need to put the frog in the roaster. <laughs> Poor frog. <laughs> the wetland grass. Okay. So. Oh, I can make that one as well. There we go. Anything else? No. Let's see. So let's combine all of our twigs. We need the blue moon butterfly and the still the silver star bill, I think. Um, let's do the broom first. Nice. Okay. Let's check the recipe. Nutrition. That wasn't what we're tr what we were trying to make, right? Earmuff, roasted frog, wetland, and blue moon butterfly. Yeah. Oh, it's done. I think. Frog, grass, butterfly. Stage one counterclockwise. Okay. Frog, grass, butterfly. Yay! I did it! Earplug potion. Use when you need to concentrate and avoid loud noises. Best to be cautious of accent due to the restrictive effects on your hearing. Okay, cool. I made it. Um, what about... What else did we want to make? The nutrition one? So we can get the chalk? Ooh, no, we want to make the light one. Ah, oh, but we haven't bought that one yet, have we? 
We need to make the candy. Was it curse lifting candy that she wanted? Can I check that? Yeah, curse lifting candy. So, squishy chub. Wait, two, isn't it? Two, yeah. Two squishy chubs and two maple. Squishy chub, squishy chub, squishy chub. Let's go. 9 p.m. We can make it. I hope the bunnies are still out. They might actually be gone in the nighttime. Yeah. I think they're in for the night. Should we wait until tomorrow? Do that delivery and then and then use the earmuff potion? Let's try that. <laughs> Time to get up. Where did you go, Virgil? It's just in your head. Why are you talking nonsense after a good night's rest? What? You weren't there. <laughs> just a dream? Saved. Thank you. Bunny time. We're on a deadline here. Come here, bunnies. Let me squeeze you. Mmm, brrrr. Mmm, brrrr. And mmm, brrrr. Yes! I'm getting good at this. Okay, just one bunny left. Thank you. <laughs> it's so cute. First things first. Let's do it. At least this I just use their fur. I don't stick the whole bunny in. Can you imagine? <laughs> Curse lifting candy. Stage three, don't stir. Okay. Now we should be on time to sell this, right? Let's see it. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Now we can buy the light recipe. Oh, oops. Oh, we can do three healing candy for more money. 45 coins. Yeah, let's do it. Um, shop. I want that last recipe. Twinkle, twinkle juice. Yes. Awesome. We have 40 now. Cool. Okay, should we go do it? Earplug uh, thing? I am excited. Oh, I have a room again. Brrrr! Yeah. Take me there. So fast. Okay, here it is. So how do I do this? Can't take this anymore. Okay, so I should take it here. <laughs> Technically, yeah, we're leather too. <laughs> okay. Let's try it. Drink it. Go away! <laughs> that worked. No big deal. Bit cruel to the bird, no? That thing's being cruel to me. I missed the train because of that bird. Not really. Let's hurry up and find the prickly vine corn. Okay. Ooh, this is cute. Where would it be? Oh, I think it's on the left. Oh no, there's prickly vine everywhere. Is it this way? Whoa, what is this? A garden door? Why is something like this here? I think they were trying to block something. At a place like this? Who? What? From what? Looking at how the prickly vines are connected, I think the nucleus is inside. Someone is protecting the nucleus. Seems to be the case. So they already knew someone would figure out that 
that that's the case, that there's a core to it. And then in case someone would come by, they made a gate. There must be a witch pattern somewhere like the other doors in the forest. But I don't think I've ever seen anything like that while walking around the forest. Something dropped over there. Chalk? Which is blue chalk? Ooh. It's on the tip of my tongue. There was something similar at home. The place where I saved Rubrum. I think I saw a blue pattern. Oh! Ooh! It's not over yet. We have more to do. What about this though? Oh. Wait, what is on the right? Might be a shortcut again. Music? Ooh, can I? Wait, maybe I need to draw that spider. A tinkle spider. <laughs> He's so cute! Makes a jingling sound when moving. Oh, that's the spider smoothing. Legend has it that a witch who hates spiders cursed them to make those sounds in the hopes of being alerted to nearby spiders. They're fast to escape to the treetops should they be alarmed, so take care when approaching them. Let's do it. Hello, spider. Hi, little guy. Nice. What's over here? What's this? A little mandrake. Ooh, we needed that for something. Mandrake in the green forest does not mature due to its environment. Must be pulled with care so as not to harm its roots. It screams when it feels threatened, though not as deadly as an adult, it still puts a strain on the body. Should I get it? Oh, so I need to use the potion for that. I still got it though. But I am a little bit rattled. I have an icon above my head. I wonder what that means. Maybe I'll not pull another one. Maybe I'll pass out if I do it too much. So I'll just wait for until I, before I pull another one. Oh. oh, I wish I had a map. This game really needs a map. This is where we got on the train. Wow. Cool. Um. Okay, let me think. Go to where Rubrum was rescued. <laughs> Let's go! Investigate. Should I draw? Yes. Cool. Boom. Nice. Let's go in. Wow, what is this place? Ooh, we found something! Looks like some kind of puzzle. Very suspicious and unnatural sight. Looks like a seesaw and a weight. Who made something like this? Feels similar to the ones we saw in the forest. For Kyla, right? <laughs> oh yeah, Kyla. <laughs> of course, don't ask twice. Hmm. So there's green and red. So maybe green needs to be the heavy one. Like that. Yeah, I figured it out immediately. So what's up here? It got bigger. I smell something fishy here. Oh. It's so late. Oh no. Oh, I'm so into it. Oh no. I want to keep playing, but okay. There might... We'll finish it some other time for sure. We'll play some more. Um, Let's head back home so we can save. <laughs> I didn't know he was making dinner. 
that's what I've been smelling. <laughs> I didn't even, my brain didn't even register that. Uh, okay, I need to go this way. I hope they add a map. That would be really nice. Like, I can, f I can find my way around and of course there's the... You can check the road signs, but... It would be nice if maybe... Even if, like, later in the game you can, like, buy a map. That would be great. Something like that. Oh, also... I think you guys need to... Oh, wait, wait. Didn't I make the potions for her? I'm gonna forget otherwise. Oh no, three healing candy. We need to make that tomorrow, okay. Please remind me next time that we can make earn money that way. 